live production. We're going to take this. We're going to get a few things out of this. We're going to have a good time. We're going to be reviewing a bunch of different stuff. So, like, I'm probably, maybe, possibly going to change chat rooms, too. I don't know if you guys are going to get annoyed if I'm sitting here just blabbing. Nah. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> well... But we're going to just be covering random shit. I'm going to be going over some of the stuff on, like, I'm literally currently looking at my Twitter page. So if you're not following me on Twitter, you fucking should be. Goddamn 11.7 thousand posts. That's insanity. I spend too much time on Twitter. So, you know, you should come join me. Me and all the other degenerates of the fucking world, right? Um, But, no. So we're going to cover some of the FaZe Clan drama. We're going to cover a little bit of the M40A3 uh, content that we've put out on the timeline. My son's going to scream at us while we're at it. Aren't you, Bubba? I'm going to have to get used to trying to narrate, talk through things like this on what I'm doing. Because I also have, like, a series of things that I got to do where, like, going through Twitch that I have to kind of, like, shoot tutorial videos and stuff. That way I can kind of x the processes of trying to fucking go show everyone every time I can just link people to video to show them how to do it. And the only thing I got to worry about is keeping it updated with the platforms as the platforms update. So, I got to get used to it rambling but rambling productive in a way that keeps people entertained i don't know but we're gonna start out with this phase shit so obviously hashtag phase up we're gonna start off here see what's going on because we got welcomes iconic welcome aiden icons to the academy five hours ago from uh whoever the this guy is hmm. yeah this is a bunch of shit all right so i know this guy for sure got added up right crazy all right so we start off with this motherfucker right here thank you I did note, if you look at this point right here, two zeros in the ones. Dude, this shit, when you look it up, is a fucking error code for a duplicate file. I thought that was kind of fire. And I feel like if you go through here, maybe not all of this, because this seems pretty redundant. But I feel like there's probably hidden messages in this, like, 100%. Damn, I ain't got the patience for all that, though. But, yeah, so they welcomed Lacey five hours ago. I know Banks and Nate are clapping back and forth, talking about a 1v1 on MW2, and apparently Hex is talking about fucking being the guy that heralds this whole thing down. But they've been adding people. They went from like 110 people on the roster down to what was going to be basically 10 creators. So that's pretty wild. But yes, yeah, so this is where we're going to kick off with. I think this is kind of crazy, though. Like this, this right here, this error code. Two zero 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 zero. I think zero again. Six zeros and a one is an error code for a duplicate file. This shit's wild. Give me one second. I'm gonna go see Afro Man, boys. A new movie? No, the artist. Oh shit! I thought God was an artist. Yeah, he's coming to, uh, he's coming to, uh, the suspensory. <laughs> Yo, does anyone have any good movie suggestions? What kind of movies you like watching? Like, at this point, bro, I mean, I'm really open to a lot of different variety of movies, but obviously, I like, uh, it sounds kind of horrible, but I like war movies. I like murder-based movies. Um, I like, like, investigation movies, like, documentaries. I like all types of shit, but I just... Tonight, I'm trying to preoccupy myself, so I go home and have, like, a little bit of game plan. With Three stack, bro. Chill out, bro. You guys are fucking robots. They're not real. Dude's name is Down Syndrome Thug. Down syndrome. Like, oh, that's nuts. You're not real, bro. You're fake. The profile picture of all social media handles for their pages chosen by the winner. You versus Banks, 1v1, Rust. Not oh, the poison. Come again. on, Ricky is free chat. That's a little, that's a hot take for sure. You want a 1v1? I'm down, but loser has to make the profile picture of all social media handles for their pages. Chosen by the winner. You versus Banks, 1v1, Rust. 
Stop the poison. Come on, Ricky's free cash, brother. This intervention radar on first to fucking twenty is an absolute lot. You wouldn't touch double digits, pop a lock in right now. These folks really like to forget. I don't. Uh, Banks needs to drop like a clip. Loki, I don't know what he's done in a long time. I haven't seen any of his shit forever. I don't know if Banks really is able to fucking snipe anymore, man. I don't know. I'm going to say that. That's ridiculous. You want ham and pineapple? Me, what I do is literally, I'm fucking basic as fuck. I just want pepperoni pizza. That's usually what I get. I fucks with that. I'm the same. That ass, I'm the same. I'm solid with the pepperoni on me. But I, I'm. Ooh, yeah. Did you ever do the barbecue uh, ham and pineapple? Barbecue luau or whatever you want to call that shit? That's crazy. Yeah, and this boy was smacking around with him too. Yeah, I remember watching this dude's video. I don't know, man. I feel like being on your shit list. I feel like if I was on his shit list, I would. I don't know. Arguably, in a small creator stance, he probably could be more beneficial in a leverage sense because banks, obviously, you'd have to be somebody for him to give a fuck. So maybe, in a sense, like being on his shit list could be kind of like fucked up. Don't get me wrong. But like, even then, you gotta be somebody for people to give a shit. So, like, who would you rather be on their shit list, you know, Elon or your fucking neighbor? You know? I don't know. I feel like. It kind of depends whenever you're trying to get to a certain level. Being on a shit list isn't a big deal. Hey. Piss off. Oh, yeah, he's working on it. You already are. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah go, go merch drop it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard that point too. Hot take. Yeah, this is a huge fucking point. Half the reason why some of these orgs don't work either is because of the point he's making right here. No rush to get back to it. I, um... It's just never going to ever be the exact same thing. But what we do know for certain, that part of that magic that we captured, that lightning in a bottle. Is this right here? We're true friends. Go and adapt. We're all best fucking friends. We all talked. Not only did we talk every day, we lived every day. We lived for each other every day. We had the same vision. We were on the same page. We were actually fucking friends. And... Is the roster currently absolutely perfect? No. But as far as Max, we just recruited Max today. In my own personal life, I've talked to and hung out with Max more times in 2024 than I have anyone else in phase, apart from maybe definitely Tommy, Apex, and Rain, but maybe Adapt and Kason. Okay? These are this is the state of phase clan. And at the end of the day, I know that first step of establishing some sort of sense of camaraderie and friendship and just actually even talking to the people who share the name phase, that's what we have to figure out first. So fuck everything else. Fuck the numbers. I don't give a fuck about the numbers. Kaylee, Warzone, whatever. At the end of the day, that's what at, we, 
it's paramount. We need that part first, and then we can figure everything else out after. I don't feel like I owe you a fucking explanation, to be honest. I'm making this kind of for the more broad thing. Um, it's one of those things. Yeah. You definitely don't. Especially when dude comes off like that, there's no explanation necessary. Yeah, dude's response was fucking wild, though, after that. He did four minutes, Banks did eight, and now he did ten. And this is just cut to cut to cut to cut. Look, it's Jerry, Sean. Oh, it's Jerry. ...into a position where they were in this team and grew and then didn't get the... They were removed. So they gutted their whole roster. They added a few people that I've been pretty much never really. Yeah. Tucker Wayne. Is that him? That's him, right? For sure. Tucker Wayne, you want to bite? 100%. It's like some MTV shit. I think that's the vibe, though, for sure. Yeah, I seen this kid recently because of this shit. I and mean, I remember seeing him recently, actually. Let me see some other shit. What we got? Going on. So it's just like a whole movie production, bro. That's wild. Locking up streamers. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie though, they ain't even like that. I love how every production, every production depicts fucking this being county, unless it's like a legit artist video. But like, I, I highly want to impress, this is not at all what it looks like. The doors are fucking closed, dog. Like, they're solid unit steel fucking sliding doors. They ain't got nothing that you're gonna be fucking putting your hands outside this cell in. And this video deadass won't even load, so that's an L. And then this was their main video. Everybody's seen that already, so that's wild. They straight gutted this shit, though. Straight up gutted it. So, that's wild. Can we just... Oh my god, I'm so not used to using the fucking desktop version of this shit, though. <clears throat> and I did want to do some reviews of this. We've got the boys, Heezy, and, and that's side out right there. We got some tags up in here. I wanted to see. All right, so we got this bad boy right here. Oh, did you banky? Definitely go listen to this shit. We ain't gonna be able to listen to a whole lot of the audio. Because if I do, we're gonna get some fucking problems. But shit's a banger. Shit is a banger. Tim's in good mood. Fucking yeah. feeds are nice. We got Scotty in this bad boy. Uh, fucking uh, Zygma. Or Zymega, correction. I always say Zygma. I'm a lazy ass. It's Zymega. Yeah, there he is right there. She's cracked, bro. He was crushing it, dude. Fucking crushing it. So you can fucking follow him 40, man. We're, we're out here smacking shit. X Defiant, I think we got a couple boys. We're gonna have a lot of fun on that shit. We've been streaming a lot of content for the X Defiant category as well. So if you're not following the category on Twitch and Kick, go fucking follow the category too. You're doing yourself huge injustice. It's gonna be a free game. It's gonna completely compete with uh, fucking COD, so... Mm -hmm. This shit's a banger, bro. We got Scotty out here, always streaming. This man's trying to get his G-Feels set up. G-Feels got him on the gates. We gotta get this man over the ledge. What the fuck? Sean. I ain't gonna start. I don't even know what that is, but we ain't touching it. I'm having, like, a mind... mind blank. <laughs> You 
Dang it, dude. Bro, what? What the? All right. Anyhow, bro. All right. So now this is cap for sure. This shit goes hard too. That's tight. And yeah. And then, you know, naturally. You guys need to go fucking light our ass up. Come on. We got this banger in here right now. I love those animations, bro. Yeah, definitely gotta go fucking hit that up, bro. That's so fire. Hmm. So, yeah. No, I'm gonna go over here. I wanna do some preview on some things. Do I not? That's so crazy. <laughs> This is still like a craziest shit that I got this with the tag. I was so excited to get this with the tag. I didn't even know that dude was really going to be there. I just kind of wanted to run it out. And I got lucky as shit. And Burger Town's just broken at this point. I have officially flipped sides. 
I am now holding down the other side of this part of the map now. I'm no longer using Burger Town like as a main spot. I use Burger Town until after that. And then now I have a new spot. That is fucking crazy, by the way. I don't want to fucking fight with the copyright. I'm probably already going to, so that's going to be fun. Ain't a huge deal for me at this moment, I guess, but definitely, I was so excited to fucking... I don't remember what the hell I was saying. What the fuck was I talking about? I picked up right where I was and then forgot as I was watching this. That clip was fucking crazy. That triple right there should have hit and I didn't get it. And then I body shot that kid. I was so lit when I body shot at him and I looked at the feed and seen it. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? This part I gotta play back to. This hit, this to me hit one of the hardest parts of the beat. Even though it didn't, it did. It really did. Bow. <laughs> that shit hit hard. That shit hit so hard. But yeah. Nah, dude, like this whole thing's. What's fun? I built this out like a long time ago and I kind of had to take time to go through for the editing. Because to be quite honest, it just. I had other things coming up. I had other clips that I wanted to extinguish and exhaust before putting this one out. And then also on timing of the last fucking Tripped Out 4, I wanted to make sure that was relevant. So I picked this sniper up, bro. Like, this sniper was in Book Room from a guy that I killed there. And I got that was, I guess, a pre-build or one of the uh, fucking packs you get or whatever for it. Bobby. He talking. He talking loud, buddy. Yeah, you are. But, no, so. <clears throat> yeah, I picked it up in this room. This part, I think, had a good beat drop, too. Yeah, it did. That shit was so nice. And then I was gonna redo this, and then I left it in. I enjoyed the rest of the video so much that I was like, you know what, that is, to me, if you make it that far, it's fine. If you click off at that moment because of that, fuck it. I ain't even worried about it. This is such a fun fucking clip, too. Wow. This is a fun edit, though, too. And then these are all ranked clips from here out. So this part, I literally gate-kept these kids. This whole fucking squad. And I, it was ironic is, and I don't know if it was in the video. Let me see. Let me go back here. Do you see it? I don't see it on the feed. Let me see. Yeah, right there. Right there. You see me grenaded my own teammate. And I, I legitimately at the moment, and I'm sure in Raw Clip I think I might even say something. Um, I was like, no, I gotta make up for the sacrifice I just forced us to take. And I just stood on business and fucked that whole goddamn team up. Like, that's a wrap. There's all of them. Ah, oh, let me do it again. Hold on. Yep, there's one more. Oh, they're coming this way. No, they're not. All right, we got it. Oh, they're coming back this way. Nope. Oh, yep. And then I peace swapped this dude. And I just kept milking it, bro. It was pretty crazy. The saddest part of it, and I don't know if I catch this part either, is I get up into the middle of the house at the end of the streak. Yeah, so I run up into the middle of the house, and I slide up on a kid and almost get the kill. And this is the last season they had snipers in ranked. Fucking glad I got this while I did. This was wild, too. So this game had an interesting narrative, too, and I want to upload the full gameplay eventually. I started out with round one with an AR, and I don't remember if it was in the middle of round one or the beginning of round two that I swapped over to the sniper. But I know when I swapped over and round two started, I walked up and I fucking hit a clat with it. And I was originally just trying to catch a pick beginning of round like, just grab a couple picks, kind of get an edge on the lives. As you see, we're double the lives right now. So that was the main reason I sniped. 
because I could kind of help a little bit of map control from a long range. And if my shot's crispy enough, your AR isn't going to fucking do shit. And at the beginning of the round, I clapped a collateral. And I was like, alright, so this is what we're doing. And then I ran all round two with a sniper, controlled and commanded the map pretty good. And then here it is on round three towards the end. Like, there's literally fucking double life stack. They haven't fucking capped either one of the points. And I'm just milking these kids. And this shot right here of what I hit would have been crazy. Just to watch that back. Three up. Ah, would have been a nice quad pop shot. Fucking yoked. This, right here. Ah, uh, I heard this was brought up in the very last uh, Champions match that Optic had. I can't remember who it was. I think he said Shotzi. He talks about Shotzi on the opposite side of this map, shooting the fire extinguisher by that big explosive barrel. And he goes, dude, fucking Shotzi's crazy for that, bro. And this is the irony. is You're talking season one. When you're talking about season one and you fucking playing ranked, I did that same fucking tactic he did. And uh, shot the fire extinguisher. Your phone? Both, I guess. I don't know. But no. Um, anyways, he talks about Shotzi shooting the fire extinguisher, and that's literally what I just went for right here. So I fucking scope in. You see the fire extinguisher right there? The thing about it is if you shoot them, it will not kill them, but it'll tag them and make them weak. Like one shot damn near. And uh, if they're already weak, kills them, right? I wanted to know if there was anybody in the spawn pocket, so I shot that fucking fire extinguisher to see if I got any tags, and I did not. And that's how I knew they were coming this way, right? That guy slipped past, got shit on. That guy got P-swapped because I didn't have time to reload and the match was ending. Zero. Three zero. And I don't even remember... Okay, it didn't even show me my full game kill. But I can definitely probably recap that full game eventually. That'd be pretty fire. But yeah, that shit, was, that shit went crazy, bro. For real. Sniping in fucking season one was so good. And that was the follow-up prior to this one right here, which was six minutes. And this one also had rank clips. Starts past this Warzone team wipes, right? Nope. And then it goes into the fucking MW 2019. It's right here. This is just these qualities, dog. <laughs> what? This darkness is not okay. Shit seems so dark. I'm trying to figure out where it was. Right here. This is the funniest shit. Oh, do you want to come? <laughs> I hit the shit. I don't know if I got the. I really hope I did. Damn it. I didn't get the audio of that. The audio file from Jake when I hit that goes, no, did you, you did not. Because he was spectating me as I did that shit. <laughs> and it was just the cringiest, like, funniest shit to do. I don't know why I wanted to do it, but I did. And then this was back when the AK was in fucking MW2. Yeah, I had a little segment of rank clips in this motherfucker too, dude. A lot of sniping, a lot of sniping clips. We went back to Ghost at the end of this motherfucker. And then we go to TO3, we got Cold War, right? I don't think I had any rank clips in this motherfucker at all. These are all just sniper Mama. clips. Mama. Is this one trash? What is happening? Mama. Mama, 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 mama. Oh, it's just me streaking the fuck out of the map. Okay. Oh. Watch me shoot this fucking RC car. No way, it didn't do it? It's not this one? There's one on this where I go up there and I boxed an RC car. And I have the same fucking shit on BO2 now. I hope I still have the file. I better have the save file. I just thought about that. But I did the same shit on BO2 in the same spot. And I want to do an edit for that. I think would be insane. That's crazy. Yeah, I shoot so I shoot homeboy's RC car up that fucking lane as he pulls it up on me. Is that a triple? Hot oh, damn. Yeah, it's right here. No? 
Thought I'd just seen it in the thing. I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, I think maybe. Yeah, it's just the evolution over the years, bro. Oh. Got duty through the smoke, crazy. I'm gonna pull you up on my stream. Exposed. Exposed. He tokes. He tokes. I'm joking. He said, I toke on stream. I'll go for it. Bro, I'd probably get marked for that for some reason. Twitch Twitch would be like, nah. Yo, some of the shit they got him saying is fucking insane. <laughs> like that whole machete clip. Holy fuck. Like, there's no way you accidentally shoot that, right? Like, that doesn't exist, right? I'm not crazy. You don't accidentally shoot a scene where you fake or participate in some sort of wild ass shit like that, unless you have like a Hollywood contract. You know? Motherfucker knew what he was doing. Oh, for sure. For sure. I think, arguably, I think part of it, yeah, I was about to say, I think part of it was actually a move by some of the platforms that were getting most of their followers from people that were being banned. And I think, in the same retrospect, people were legitimately getting sucked into a cycle of going to these new platforms to create this new era of free speech, whatever you want to sell it as. And the people like Andrew Tate and all that were literally getting paid through deals like that through people that came. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Right. Like, so don't don't stream on Twitch if you're this guy, you know, and don't do this if you're this if you're fucking alpha. You're on Rumble. Broke? <laughs> fucking brokey. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, there's one fucking, there's one outtake I like to use about him saying broke, is the one where he goes, you're fucking poor. <laughs> it's hilarious to me. Because, it, it, like, when I seen it, I was like, bruh, you're right. You're right. My god. Yeah, this thing seems like it's bolting fucking shitty as fuck now. I wonder if this fucking helps. Reload while fucking sprinting. Like. What? Are you dead ass right now? It doesn't count it as a reload. So apparently this has an infinity mag on it, you know, as many bullets as you got in your inventory you can have. That's fucking dumb. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It feels like too blocky. It doesn't feel like you can go around it. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Definitely ain't tax sprinting no more with that bad boy. I wonder what else is fucking cooking right now. See, how the fuck are you going to say this says 75 and that other one does six fucking hundred? Like, that is not even fucking close, by the way. You're telling me this does 600 rounds per minute. Bro, you're huffing bags of dog shit. There ain't no way. It's got a 1500 millisecond rechamber rate. What's the rechamber rate of this bad boy? 1133. This rechamber is faster. If it rechambers faster, it should have more rounds per fucking minute, but I guess it's considering the reload time now that I'm putting that in it. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of a bummer. Um.
Let me hit this one up. I might be rocking this today. If it's going to show me all the way to the start screen, let me go to the store, let me go to the battle pass, let me buy their dog. Why can't I play yet? They can eat. They know what they're doing. They're making me try to sit here. This is exactly why they they have X Defiant coming out. This is why I didn't play this. I spent three weeks on Black Ops 2. I would rather have Black Ops 2 than have any map pack this game could drum out of their dead cold ass. That's exactly why they do that. They let you load up as much as they can so they can sell you shit and you wait for downloads. I'm over here locked in trying to type him. I'm trying to fight somebody, bro. Try to fight somebody for in 2025 for like 500 bucks, maybe a thousand. Apparently, I don't know. You know, right? I mean, we figure it out. Yeah, it'd be a fucking bitchin' idea. Especially you know, you go out and get a fucking partnership. And they fucking take care of most of the fucking, you know, concerns with how you're gonna fucking manage the shit. Or they give you the supplies to manage it, rather. It'd be a better way to say it. Why the fuck am I playing on half a Warzone map right now? Here, Daddy, take These motherfuckers could not have gotten this lazy right now, right? These bitches literally just said, Oh, you want to play the Season 3 Mosh Pit? Let's all go to War. What the fuck is this? Well, I haven't touched this shit at all. This is retarded. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'll shut up. Let's see what happens first. My accuracy's ass. I was frying for two days and then I fucking slacked today apparently. Nah, I'm fucking now actually playing. Locked in, trying to get it going. I'm fucking around, waiting for everybody to kind of get ready to see if we're gonna run it. Alright. This is not a map I want to. Play. Hell yeah. You don't like it when I lay him and you like that. You don't like it. When you put your hand like this, what the fuck are you doing, hand? Cheeks. What, homie? Put that in your mouth. I want to come down. Come here. Make you a deal. One condition, you mustn't laugh. What's the opposite of Benzino? A giraffe. <laughs> See, he laughed. He laughed. He thought it was funny, Mom. Even he thought Eminem was funny. Poor Benzino. Poor guy. He's just trying to make a living, right? Is he dead that funny? Funny looking? <laughs> Shit. You kidding me? Yeah, I posted that on Twitter, too, for like some of the bullshit on that. I was like, bro, I'm a scrawny ass fucking white kid in the Northwest who wouldn't want to beat my ass. I didn't want to tell him I was from Texas. I might scare some of the little pansy fucks. <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. I miss Texas. Fuck, Texas is cool. Granted, like, some of the shit down there was a little hard, don't get me wrong, but, like, the freedom, the space, the ability to buy land, all that shit, dude, when you get older and you start to look back at it. You're like, God damn it, why am I up here in this fucking suburban hell? Around all these people who are worried about their vape policy and if they can wear fucking thongs in the goddamn Chuck E. Cheese or not. Like, God damn it, man. I want to go back to where everybody's worried about if you can walk in the bar with a gun or not today. <laughs> For real, like, are we allowed to open carry still? Is that a law? Did we pass the open carry law and ban it yet? No? Oh, thank God. And it's crazy how in some other fucking states around the United States, bro, you can't have a gun on you at all. If you have a gun, it has to be disarmed, put a lockbox with a lock, and you must be transporting it to and fro. You know? And they think by some stretch that helps the issue, and what it does is it curates a point where the only people that do end up having the guns are the bad guys. <laughs> Right. All right. Yeah, and I mean, if you're starting to drink, that's your bartender's understanding. They're supposed to not let you get drunk at the bar. 
period. You're not supposed to be drunk in public, and if they intend on having you leave the bar, they're technically not supposed to get you drunk. And especially if you're fucking holstering a goddamn weapon, I feel like as a bartender, you gotta be a little bit extra vigilant to that, you know? But, yeah, I don't see a problem with it, to be quite frank. I think, to an extent, taking away that responsibility eliminates people's ability to grow the fuck up. And, and eliminates our ability to police each other as we should. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. Bro, you get shit. That's one thing. So that, that was one, one of these guys on Twitter that was talking about maybe fucking wanting to throw hands is in Texas. And I'm like, well, I do have people down there that would let me post up there. Like, I've got a lot of family in Texas. You know what I mean? So like in Texas, it, they have, I think it's called the Mortal Kombat Law. <laughs> but what basically what it is, is two grown fucking men can shake hands and agree to just bomb right here on their private property. And nobody's allowed to fucking call the cops. No one's allowed to just show up and be like, they're fighting. And nobody's going to go to jail for that shit. Like as long as when the cops show up and mutual combat. Thank you. Not mortal combat. Finish him. Right. Yeah, that's where I was getting, like, the whole private property thing. So I get that. Okay. But nonetheless, it allows you to do... To, yeah, it allows you to fight without the fucking deep-seated concern that somebody's going to fucking file some complaint or you're going to get some loop de doop de fucking law and get a ticket for it later, you know? Or, like, if you're creating content with it, you damn well can't post something illegal. So... Where you're doing shit has to be legal in the state that you're recording it. That's why it's important on your YouTube details. It says, where was this recorded? Like, if I went and shot a fight and I recorded that shit and said I was in New York, I probably wouldn't get as much exposure. Well, maybe New York's probably lenient as fuck, honestly. I don't know that's really fucked up. There's, there's got to be a state out there that you can't fight in, right? So if I posted the video and said I was in that state, they could fucking flag my shit, take me down, and be like, look, dude, according to your shit, this is illegal. We're not going to let you monetize and produce this. Whereas if I say I did it in Texas, they're like, all right, well, it's legal. Who gives a fuck? Same thing with, like, the gun videos, like gun shooting and shooting certain rifles. And, like, like you can't go out and lace up a MAC-10 yeah, and sure. say you're in fucking certain states or cities that it's illegal. They won't let you publicize it and uh, monetize it. <laughs> you just got to say you did it in a different city. Literally. I mean, it's as simple as that, really. Whistling Diesel, he bought that tank from across country and then like drove it across country. I don't know if y'all remember that shit, that was wild. Motherfucker bought a tank, drove that shit across country, then turned around and bought like a, an ancient fucking forklift, or not forklift, but a backhoe or something, and then uh, drove that across country. What's happening? I tried to kind of tuck in that corner so you can maybe go on and fucking those little weebs came walking looking for me. Couldn't leave me alone. The fuck fucks with this shit? Hit marker, off rip, are you capping? Alright, let me try. Let me, let me try. Let me give it a shot. I was busting with it for two days straight and it just might still be the way for me. It's sad days for this. Yeah, that's probably what's up. I just gotta get used to this revolt now. That's fucked. No, sir. Stop. Oh fuck, he's right there. I'm an idiot. That should have been a collab. I fucked that. That was so. Mm, that looked pretty. Yeah, I just gotta walk him down. That's. Because it doesn't want to rebolt when you're sprinting like at all. I don't know if this makes any fucking difference. Definitely does not work. 
this is not worth the change. So, so yeah, we're going back to quick bolt. <laughs> that shit felt the same, just slower. Did you really just try to camp my attack and then get hit marked and pistol whipped and died? The whole real LMG mod. <laughs> Jesus. Upsetty. Upsetty spaghetti. No, oh, prestige? Yeah, you get to reset your weapon back to level 1 and redo it. Because the first time you do it, you used to, you used to be able to put your clan tag engraved on your gun. The second time you did it, you used to be able to get your emblem plate pasted on your gun. And then you get a calling card and an emblem for it as well. Plus it gives you a prestige consistently, so when you're trying to rack levels, you do that. That way you keep stacking prestige like crazy, and you can race to a thousand super fast that way. Dude's laying down underneath you, Guardian. What are you doing? He's standing under the riot shield doing nothing. Yeah, so I just put more scope on another sniper and I'm hitting. My god, dog, come on. Yeah, that's why I snipe, dog. Game's over. There's no way that collapsed. Yes, this game. All right, I got it, boys. I got it. No! No, no. The degenerates can't even play their own game. It's amazing. No. They only haven't tested because they're marketing ploys. That's all it is. Four shots for 149 damage, because it's just so logical that a gun that has 30 rounds should be able to merc a full fucking kill with literally four bullets.